Well, yesterday was not a very good day. Okay, I shouldn't, I shouldn't go that far. At least, not out of the gate. But, I was not feeling that well by the end of it. Happy Thursday, folks. Um, is anything good happening? Oh, I should, I mean, honestly, the first half of the day was going pretty well. I mean, I got my, I mean, I was able to get to church on time and get my ashes. You know, I was able to, you know, spend the evening with my family. You know, was pretty solid. It made for a pretty solid high for the day. And, you know, in terms of acts of kindness, I, um, uh, brought in the garbage for my folks. See, yesterday was garbage day. I did that. And for the vast majority of the day, I really was good on my word regarding being happy for others who have found happiness and love or, and are in a relationship on Valentine's Day. But um, then we get to my love. I don't want to go into what specifically this was, but after seeing what I saw, I had officially reached my breaking point. 34 years of being single on Valentine's Day. And it finally came to a head. Honestly, I felt so shitty that at some point yesterday evening, I just ran out to my car sat inside of it and began to cry. I mean, what, what am I supposed to do with, well, I can't really say what it was because it's going to give something away and potentially make things awkward. So let's just say what I saw virtually anyone could have done. In fact, I did plan on doing this, but the reason I didn't was because I'm pretty sure down the line, it would have made things awkward. That's the only reason why I didn't do what I saw someone else do that just broke me. Yeah, I think that, I think grammatically that works. I'll tell you what though, it was great. You know when you wake up in the morning and there was like a few, like that several second period of time that you don't remember what happened or, you know, what's going on. I'll tell you what though, those first several seconds are actually pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie because what, like, what did I go to bed thinking about? And then I'm like, oh yeah, that, uh. You're probably wondering why I'm also wearing, you know, a shirt and tie. Well, oh, actually, there was another shirt I was supposed to wear, but uh, one of the buttons, specifically the button that you would put on uh, here so your tie stays in place, yeah, it fell off. 
which is great. I mean, this shirt kind of matches the tie. I mean, this matches the tie probably a little bit better. It's actually a shirt that my uh, brother got me, which, you know, is nice. And I like it. And, you know, it definitely provides a, a bit of a save, I guess. Um, so, for, so regarding what's going on today, um, my father will be accepting a award at some point this afternoon, and, you know, I was gonna, you know, go and support him. By the way, I actually have a nice pair of, you know, black shoes, but, you know, so ever since I started using this ottoman, I've been uh, wearing slippers because, you know, it looks homey. But, you know, putting on a pair of black shoes is really that hard. And I do have them. All you just gotta do is, you know, put them on. So, um, that's about the long and short of what, actually, that's not true. I did feel a little bit better watching um, the Tournament of Champions qualifiers on Food Network. I love watching Tournament of Champions. I do. I think it's awesome. I watched that. I watched um, like Road to TOC5, which that was also awesome. I mean, for those of you guys who don't know what it is, it's um, in 2020. It was 2020. In 2021, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, um, so this will be season five. Um, in 2020, um, the people over at the Food Network decided that, you know, there's a lot of really great chefs who've won a lot of, you know, culinary competitions. So let's get the best of the best and make a tournament out of it. Not unlike what you see during March Madness. Come to think of it, this should be going on during March Madness, now that I think about it. <laughs> so, for the first two seasons, you had 16 people, 16 contestants, and um, from that, so from season three onward, you had, you, they bumped up to 32, so it's literally what you expect, you know, it's a tournament, Loser goes home, winner moves on, five wins get you, you know, the Tournament of Champions title. You are the title of the Tournament, you are the title of Champion, Tournament of Champions. Get a nice belt, cool cash prize, you know, it looks really cool. And, um, easily the biggest, um, kicker of this whole, of the whole thing is what's called the randomizer. It's actually, so basically, um, I mean, listen, for a show like this, of course Guy Fieri is gonna host it. Why not? You know, if there's one thing Guy Fieri loves to do, it's being a host. And, you know, he's great at it. Anyway, so basically there's um five uh, wheels that you gotta spin. I call it a wheel. It's more like a, I guess a dial, I suppose. Yeah, I'll say that. Like five dials, let's say. And there's like, um, and again, you spin and they all land on random things. And whatever those things land on are the um, parameters that the chefs have to work with within what they have to do for that round. I mean, even uh, last night, for example, like one of the uh, qualifiers had to do like um like pork tenderloin, uh, peas. Um, something on the dish had to be smothered, and they had to use like aluminum foil. And they were given like thirty five minutes to make it. Like that's that's how random it gets. And. It's a lot of fun. And I think what's really cool is um, after like the round is over, both chefs leave 
and then the judges walk in and the judges have no idea who cooked what. They have no idea what it is that is in front of them until they're told what it is. And meanwhile, as the judges are critiquing the contestants' work, the contestants are in their trailers watching what the judges are saying on a screen. And sometimes their reactions are fun, they're funny. It's awesome. It's very entertaining. But I can't talk about Tournament of Champions 5 without first knowing the fact that there have been four seasons of Tournament of Champions so far. And every single season of this show has been won by a woman. You know, Brooke Williamson won season one. Minnie Chowan won season two. Tiffany Faison won season three. Mei Ling um, won season four. I thought I got her name wrong for a second. I'm sorry. Um, but here's the kicker. Like, of all four seasons, Brooke Williamson has made it to three of the four finals. And the only reason why she didn't make it to the finals last year is because she took a sabbatical. She, she didn't perform, she didn't, she didn't compete last year. But now she's there. And because all four champions have assembled, they're each now the number one seed. Oh yeah, right. Again, they do, they do seating based on like, because obviously every single contestant on Toyota Champions has won a competition at some point. But like the number of competitions and like the severity, the, the magnitude of the competitions that they won, you know, that also takes into account where they rank as a whole. <sighs> um, so it is interesting to see that the qualifier, basically if you won the qualifier, you were the eighth seed. So basically your first round in the actual tournament, in Tournament of Champions, is going to be against one of the champions. I'd be like, yay. That would be me if I was doing it. Holy cow. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. Watching it did make me feel a little, honestly spending the evening with my folks, that made things a little bit better too. I mean, yesterday was the beginning of Lent, so we couldn't have meat yesterday. So for dinner we had a uh, mac and cheese and salad. It was very good. Um, I mean, I've said it before, my mom's mac and cheese, like top three things she makes. So naturally it was awesome. And then there was, um, you know, not a nice fresh. And that's actually the thing. If you're gonna have mac and cheese for dinner, you gotta have something. You know what you're gonna, some people are gonna hit, they gotta have something green on the side, man. Anything. Like a salad of some kind, or like green beans, or asparagus. Something, something akin to, you know, balancing out this very heavy mac and cheese that you're eating. And honestly, as a whole, it did make me feel better. It did. I mean, I did mention that I also had a really good cry yesterday. Yeah, I did. I am being dead serious when I tell you I legit got in my car and cried. Ugh. Again, sorry if like, I'm sorry if I've been kind of, you know, melancholy the last couple of videos, you know, yesterday and today. I mean, that's not what you're used to seeing me do. That's not what, you know, that's not what's expected of me at this point. But if anything, what it shows is I mean, let's be real here, I'm human too. You know, in a lot of ways, what happened to me, what happened yesterday, really could have happened to anyone. In fact, I literally said, anyone could have done what 
the thing I saw that made me depressed did. If that makes sense. I mean, I have my reasons why I didn't. I mean, I literally said it would probably make things awkward going forward. But I guess I don't. At least it, I mean, technically it is going to be awkward for an entirely different reason. But it's like what I said, you know, yesterday, you know, I've been heartbroken. I've ran four marathons. I've ridden my bike for a hundred miles four times. And I've even stared at death in the face. But none of them were ever as hard as the decision I had to make regarding a certain someone. So, kind of bad timing considering that when I finally try and give it a go, what, you know, Valentine's Day happens and what happened yesterday happened. Again, I'm sorry for being vague. I don't want to get into what it is because I don't want to make things even more awkward than they already are. So, I guess. The only thing I can do is, again, take things one day at a time and be a supportive friend. That's all I can do. It sucks, but I guess I've been through worse in life. Sorry, again, if this isn't uh, the normal standard that you see me do. But... You know, at least I was able to share it with all of you today. So for that, I am very humble. And thank you for, thank you for indulging me if you've made this fun video. I mean, we got hot ones today. I'm going to be seeing my dad win an award later today. That should be fun. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day today. And, um, you know, if anyone ever wants to talk, you know, I'm going to listen, I'll be there to listen, and I'll have your back. So, take care and make good choices. Oh, you know no matter how I feel, I got you like 6.07 all day, baby.